I made my first YouTube video pretty much exactly 10 years ago. In 2024, I have received around 50,000 views and here's a complete breakdown how much YouTube pays me as a small YouTuber. I should preface this by saying that I am a small YouTuber, a very small YouTuber. In fact, I'm probably within the 10% most subscribed channels, which is not a lot. I have at this point in time 2,800 subscribers and around 250,000 total views on my channel. I have, however, made a lot of videos, and I mean a lot of videos. 135 long-form videos can be found on my channel to be exact, all from starting a startup, which is my original series, to random videos, to the daily vlog, which I'm currently running. I have recently started vlogging, and during this time I have seen a significant uptake in growth on my channel, as well as a significant uptake in how much money I've made, new subscribers, and watch hours. In 2024, it has been very bottom heavy, in that since May, I've made around 20 videos, and in the beginning of the year, I only made around three. So there was a gap where there wasn't a lot of videos, and now towards the end, there's been quite a lot of videos, which can explain the bump you're seeing on the screen right now. However, what's interesting is that my top performing videos from 2024 weren't actually made in 2024. In fact, out of the 10 top videos, only four were made during 2024. And from the top three videos in 2024 in terms of views, none of them were actually from 2024. They were all made in either 2022 or 2023. My top video on this channel has received 30,000 views in total. It's where I explain how much money my app made during the first three months. And from these 30,000 views, actually 17,000 have come during 2024. And as you can see, there's relatively few views in the beginning and the number of views have started to pick up now during the last two or so months. This is the interesting thing with YouTube. You can post a video and this YouTube video can live forever. So this was posted in November of 2024. And up until January of 2023, it hadn't really gotten any views. And then it started to pick up and got a couple of views every day for the remaining year. And then in January of 2024, almost a year and a half later, it actually started to pick up in terms of views. So in total, for these 30,000 views, YouTube has paid me $87. And in 2024, of those 17,000 views, YouTube has paid me $58. However, I should preface that the reality looks quite a bit different. My average video gets around 300 to 400 views, with some videos getting as little as 100 views, and some videos getting around 2,000 views. And from the daily vlogs, it's varied quite a bit. Some videos get 100 views, one video has gotten 2,000 something views, at most videos get around 3 to 400 views. For instance, one video that I made received 1,700 views in the first three or so days, and then flatlined completely, getting no more views, which is quite typical for those types of vlogs. It was published three weeks ago, and it's made approximately $1.7 since then. And this is the story for most of my videos, with most of the videos making between $1 and $2, over their lifetime, but some videos peak in and make it a little bit more, such as the one I talked about previously that made $87, or some of the other ones which have made $14, $15, $20, $20, stuff like that. However, for 2024 in total, I have received 50,000 views, which has equated 1,800 watch hours. Now, this is important to preface because watch hours and views are different. Watch hours are a much more valuable indicator than views are because one can receive a million views, but they can be on a three second short, meaning that you're not really doing that much work to keep people on the channel. And then subsequently keep people on YouTube, which is what YouTube pays you for in terms of ad revenue. In total, from all of these views and watch hours, I have received 136 US dollars, meaning that my RPM is $2.8 dollars, which is how much I get paid for a thousand views. And now, this is kind of at the lower end of the spectrum. A lot of channels have RPMs that are six, seven, eight dollars, but there are a few reasons and a few different things which will impact what kind of RPM that you see on your channel. So firstly, I should point out that my audience is 93% male, and depending on your category, having a female audience is typically more valuable as a lot of the ads or a lot of companies are spending more to reach a female audience. Not sure why, that's just a fact I read on Google. So my audience is 93% male, which lowers the RPM that I receive on my channel a little bit, but not significantly. A big difference is the demographic. So where in the world is your audience watching from? And I have, thankfully, which I really enjoy, quite a global audience. So around 15% of my total audience watches from India, and then 15% watches from the UK and the US combined, and then 10% is other European large countries and then it's very spread out from there with I'm getting getting views from pretty much every country in the world but you know just a couple every month or so but I have a very global audience meaning that it's not very centered on the US or Western Europe which does lower the RPM a little bit secondly I have a relatively young audience so typically you see less money from a young audience so around half of my audience is between 18 and 24 which is a student demographic. And as you know, students are not really known for having much money, 
which means that they're not super valuable to advertisers and that means the advertiser is not willing to pay as much to reach this particular audience. If you have an audience that is a little bit older, say 25 to 40, you're typically seeing higher RPMs as they have more disposable income and advertisers are willing to pay more in order to reach these particular people. From this, I'm ha not having incredibly low RPMs, although $2.8 is on the low side, but there are reasons for that in that I have a global audience and that I have a relatively young audience. Another way to make money from YouTube is through affiliates. So I have one service that I have very recently implemented, which is where you can reach me to book advisory meetings if you want to build apps, for example, or if you just want to chat about random things. I have in total made $15 from this and I posted around two weeks ago. The link is down below if you want to chat all things app development, YouTube, business, whatever. Or if you just want to book a one-on-one -on -one chat, it's currently free. But I should also mention that YouTube has been a great lead source for me. I have met friends, I have met a potential client, I have met an actual client, and in 2023, I met the partner who is actually now my business partner for the startup that I'm running in parallel to this and documenting through YouTube. Secondly, it should also be mentioned that another great way to make money on YouTube is through sponsored advertisements. And now I have not had a sponsor for any video on this channel, but that changes today. Actually, let me tell you and introduce you to today's sponsor. Me, the sponsor of the video is me. Since I don't have any other sponsors, I have to sponsor this video myself and I am recommending you to check out my app VenturePals. VenturePals is a social accountability platform where you can dating app style, swipe through CVs of people, match with them, and then chat to them. And if you're like-minded, if you like each other, you can apply to be VenturePals. If you're a VenturePal, you're connected to each other for three to 30 days, and you can then keep track of each other's tasks. This is how I met my actually now co-founder of this VenturePals by being venture pals for a couple of months, we figured out this is a great idea. We're keeping ourselves so much more accountable, we're doing our tasks to such a much better degree, and it's just a fun way to connect with people around the world, talk to them, get your tasks done. So essentially, you match with them, you're productive together, you can see their progress for the week, they can see your progress for the week, and you can make sure that you keep each other accountable. Definitely check it out, it's free to download on both the Google Play and the App Store, and there's a free plan as well as a premium plan inside of the app if you wanna support the channel. Please download it, leave a good review, test it out. Feel free to subscribe if you like to. But now, let's get back to the video. But that is a pretty complete breakdown of my YouTube journey, what my statistics look like, what my YouTube videos generate in terms of income and views. So there you have it, 50,000 views, $136, and 1,800 watch hours from an audience that is very global, very spread out and relatively young in terms of age, which is what leads to the relatively low RPM. As you can see, I've made a lot of YouTube videos about coding, apps, that kind of jazz. So if you like that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe. It's actually completely free of charge. What a bargain. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.